Well, I guess no job would be complete without doing an inspection of it. So I'm over here on my granite table and got the shaper sitting up on it to where I can do some checking on it. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm going to have a hard time probably showing you. Uh, but I'll take you off handheld here and show you the best I can. So I'm sitting on my blocks there, which of course means that that side is parallel to the table. Assuming of course that the blocks are correctly ground, which they appear to be, and everything's clean. I ran an indicator under this and it's less than a thousandth deviation over the whole length, probably half thou. And doing this side, which we'll do it here in a minute, just to verify that it is even with the other side, it was about the same. And same with the other side. So the tricky part is determining what square is. So I've got my astral precision cube for setting up the machines out here on the table. That's the best square I have, which as I had suspicion before, my square is less than square. Still not bad for that kind of square. So I've got a indicator set up here to determine what the tip end is. So let's get over and take a look. See that? If you can see it while I move it, it's more things than I can do at one time. You just have to take my word for it that that's the peak. Showing zero there. Moves the block to the inside way. Should get the same reading. So there it is, about a half thou. Other side. About that same half thou. And there we are, zero again. Now check that back to the square.
That's it. it shows a thousandth and a half. So that means we're within somewhere between a thousand and a half to two thousandths tip over the length, which is actually what I was shooting for, was a thou per foot. So that when the ram goes off the end, uh, when it droops, it actually stays flat. So that was what was recommended to me by Richard King. So that's what I did. I was trying to hold that. And it looks like I got pretty close, at least within a thousandth anyway. So let me drop this back down. We'll check the sides real quick. Let's get, it's like one right there. Let's see if I can drag this without getting too crazy. It's like back to one. See how square it is? Pretty much zero. Quit rocking. Maybe half thou. Not too bad. I'll take it. Down and a half won't go in there. Apparently not anywhere. You get a light. Doesn't shine through it all. Track it down. Can't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the top. Alright. Oh, so back to me. Alright, so it's pushed up against the plate. at the thigh and a half feeler gauge, and you can see it just barely goes in. So that's what it is all the way at the top. Well, I'm gonna say for all intents and purposes, that's as square as this thing gets. Uh, with what I have to check it with, I can't determine anything more beyond what it is. Uh, and like I said, from what I can tell, it looks like over this two foot, uh, if anything, it might be out a thousandths and a half, maybe two at the most, but I don't think it's really out that far. The more I check it, the straighter it appears to be. So. Looks like it did a pretty good job on getting it where it was all supposed to be. So I'm satisfied with it. And uh, hopefully Mike will be too. So yeah, I, I made a lot of work for him. I got all this all machined up. Now he's gotta make all the rest of it match. So <laughs> I've done the easy part. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.